All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are here today with Doomsday, Last Survivors. Now, this game out. This game came out a while ago. It actually came out in September of 2021. They've reset it a little bit and made it a little bit different, a little bit better. The heroes are pretty cool in this game. I did play it for about six or seven months, maybe even a year, to be honest, uh, for a while with a clan and a guild and all that. I stopped playing. Figured we would go back into it and kind of see what's changed and what's new. Basically, it is one of those war games where you kind of build your town and you fight. We're about to get into our first fight. Yes, the character models are very realistic and very cool. You got, I guess you could say, this is your Harley Quinn character because every game has one. And every person looks pretty realistic and they're all really cool. Uh, you do have reasonable fights that are interesting enough to actually keep you occupied there is the war aspect of it where you have to go and fight other players that you know spend a lot of money but this is like your little kind of stage area where you get to go through we got a rusty hoe i know you guys are excited so yeah we're, we just run through here and we kill zombies basically you place your heroes you get zombie alerts and then they just come out as like waves of zombies and then you have skills that you can set up like she has a i think she has here we go a turret that we can put up See, and then it'll come up and start shooting stuff. And I think, let's see, what, what do these guys have? She does some kind of weird chainsaw thing. Yeah, she throws chainsaws at everyone. And I think he puts up walls. Yeah, he puts up walls. There's all kinds of skills. There's, like, shooting. There's healing. There's, you know, attack up. There's all kinds of stuff. The walls basically stop the zombies from moving, so they stay behind the wall. They will start attacking the wall eventually, which is basically going to make it so that your wall gets destroyed eventually. But, hey... We don't care about that. We're going to put up a, a turret right here. They can attack your turrets. They can attack all this stuff. So once those things, see, the HP bars are popping up. Once those things start popping up, ooh, we'll do this. We'll do that. There we go. The razor blade thing is pretty cool. Now, she's a paid player, if I remember cor correctly, the one with the chainsaw. I believe that you can only get her through spending money, if I'm correct. Uh, these are, this would be your boss fight. And yeah, you basically go through and you fight stuff, and then eventually you build your town up. Right now we're in the beginning. I was going to show you my old account. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find it. Here, let's throw let's throw this thing at her so he dies quicker. There we go. And they're called the Calamity Sisters. <laughs> you can get the other sister, the one with the machine gun. She is possible. This one, Cynthia. You can get her. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, they show you the opening. The, the cinematics in this are very good and very realistic. We're not even talking about the, you know... The sexy girl with a gun thing. We're talking about the actual graphics because these are the only ones that are like that, really. I mean, everyone else is pretty badass looking. You've got like ninjas, and there's one dude who's got a baseball bat. He's basically a uh, Negan, I guess. <laughs> but he's actually he looks like Glenn, but he acts like Negan. Interesting enough. See what I mean? Pretty cool graphics. They have look at that. Boom! Murdering zombies with flame. We're gonna skip it now just because. All right, see. So yeah, you'd have to buy her for a dollar. So if you want her for a dollar, you can do it. That's up to you. But basically, you just go through and you get your quest finished, which opens up new areas of the town. Now this is the very beginning of the game, so everything looks very dark and sad. There we go. We got some gems. But basically, you have to go through and just unlock the basic town until we can get into the world map. You're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. There's the girl Peggy who looks kind of like from Last Survivor. Oh, sure, we'll save the old man. I'll save the old man. You're going to have some decisions to make. None of it really matters, to be honest. These are like little quests. Uh, we're going to leave them. We're going to leave them. We don't, we don't want to know what happens. <laughs> I know it was bad. Whatever it was, was bad. We're going to collect a bunch of stuff. We're going to visit our residents. There we go. That was called visiting our residents, deciding whether or not people live and die. That's, that's visiting. Give medicine. We'll just do these quests. Give medicine. You're going to have to do a bunch of annoying little tasky things until you build everything up. This is our headquarters. We're going to level it up. I just want to get to the point where we can get outside and you can kind of start seeing what the game is actually about. Starting prologue. See what I mean? Every time we finish this, we open up a new area. Boom. Look at that. What do we get? Is that a summon? Oh, oh we get the yeah, I think we get summons now. So this is the police station where we get to summon heroes. There we go. We're going to summon someone. I think we get... I think we get a, a purple this time around. It's like a the starting. Yeah, we get one purple. We got Charlie. Honestly, Charlie's pretty cool. He's an infantry hero. He uh, he works for the garrison. I found that it's a lot easier to max out your elite heroes in the in the beginning of the game to do a lot of damage. You can actually kill some stuff pretty quickly. There's a there's a girl on a motorcycle. Yeah, a lot of interesting heroes. So there we go. Hey Charlie, what up, Charlie? Liam's actually really good too. He's a pretty good hero as well, especially when you're fighting on the uh, on the world map. 
There's Peggy. She's actually a pretty good hero. She's she is legendary. I don't remember if you get her quickly or if you get her slowly. There's like a bunch of events where you can get pieces. Here we go. Let's defeat the zombies. Look, they're all going to run out and just start shooting. Oh, I get to shoot. Look at that. You get to hold down your button and just shoot. It's like a it's like a shooting fish in a barrel thing. This game has a lot of random like little mini games and things like that. It's got a lot of quests too, which are pretty cool. All right. So here we go. So now we're getting Peggy and Charlie. All right. We're at a slight disadvantage. Zombies in this area are dangerous. You are advised to level up your heroes. Sure, let's level them up. What do we got? Are they going to tell me how to do it? There you go. EXP. Level up. We can use 1,000 EXP. Actually, we have these battle manuals. There are specific battle manuals for each hero, which you can get from quests, which will level up those heroes specifically. So let's see if they. Let's see if he has any of them. No, we don't have any manuals for him. So we're just going to use this to get him a couple levels. There we go. He's got a few levels. Mr. Charlie's leveled. And then, oh, I guess we get her. So we get her for free. We'll level her up one more time. Actually, we'll level up two more times. We want to make sure this goes smoothly. And right now, it's the beginning of the game, so it's not like, it's not like, oh god, we have a major advantage. We went from no advantage to major advantage. See what I mean with like the the graphics and stuff? Really cool. This game kept me occupied for a while. You just really got to be into the whole, you know, signing on and talking to your guild members, and it's a very cooperative type game. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to join this game if it's not something that you're interested in doing, where you want to fight other clans and go around killing people and yes the money aspect is going to be hard there's going to be some things where you know the money might come into play where you're going to have one guild there's always one guild that just basically kills everyone but usually they understand that if they do that to everyone that they're going to end up kind of killing everyone and making them all leave so there is usually some kind of a you know a truce thing what does this do electrocution Oh, that's right. She shocks everyone in a circle, which is actually kind of badass. It actually works really well. You put it right in front of the wall, as you can see, and boom, there you go. Now, we can put a wall over here. See, we can double up on walls, and that way every side is essentially covered so that these guys won't get through. During later stages, yes, you will see that that's going to become more and more of an issue because they're going to be uh, a lot faster and stronger. Here we go. We're going to put another wall right here. You could conceivably just put up walls the whole time, but... There are, like I said, later stages, that's going to become less and less of an option. You're going to want to be able to kill things faster because they're going to blow up your walls pretty quickly. Now, we're going to try and use this electricity thing as soon as we get some skill points here. We'll do that. Oh, we won anyway. See that? Problemo solved. See what here? We got two more EXP boosts and we got a piece for him so that we can upgrade them. I think you upgrade them by using pieces like separately. I don't know if you need, I don't remember if you need a bunch of them to level up. Cynthia and Calamity Jane over there. Boom, prologue. Let's see, I wanna unlock this town. Does that do it? Does that give me the whole town? Is that the winner? Oh, there we go, successful. All right, great job, we have essential buildings. All right, so now we're building the wall, so now we have a town. And there you go, boom, we are, we have built a shelter. We own, we own something. We have land now, but there's zombies coming, unfortunately. Look at that, they're all around us. Shelter guard looks pretty badass. I kind of want the shelter guard. Go to the forest. That looks that is so creepy. They're, this is a very dark and creepy game. I'll give it that. It reminds me of Last of Us. Even look at that scene right there. This is very Last of Us kind of thing right here. Yeah, we don't we don't want to see what they say. I want to skip this because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Because the story is actually kind of cool. They actually do have a reasonable amount of, of story in it. Just remember that this kind of fighting isn't going to be the whole game. All right, Most of the game is going to be you leveling up, gathering resources, building, t building shelters. But there is a good portion of the game that is like this. So don't think that you're not going to be doing stuff like this. There's a lot of really cool levels. There's a pretty interesting set of like quest lines you got to go through where you have to get like stars and you have to fight really in insanely strong heroes to like get through bunch of different stuff boom area cleared you know, and you and there are extra levels so like you'll have parts like this where you're going to walk through giant maps and kind of find stuff and search for items there's a whole section that's that's part of that we are here yeah i hope it still works it does work not a rip off of last of last of us not even close I swear, her name is not Ellie. Oh, we got to save him. I think I think the story's even the same. I think she's immune to it. <laughs> yeah.
to a bit petting. I guess it's going to force us to watch it. I don't want to ruin it for you. I think she's, she's I think she survives. I think we're okay. <laughs> like I said, I think this is literally the last of us is the story. But as you can see, it gets really dark pretty quickly. I'm a doctor. Oh, here we go. We get to save her. They really updated the story in this game. I actually didn't even notice all that. There we go. This is crazy. I never saw this. This is all new. The doctor is actually a hero you can get, which is pretty nifty. All right, so so now we have to rescue troops. So we have quests. We actually have things to do. I'm hoping we have... There we go. So now you can go out into the actual world. Oh, a ruffian. We got ruffians now. So now we have armies. All right, rescue troops. And now we want to infiltrate. Here we go. We want to infiltrate this troop. I think it takes a while for you to actually get. See, this is where you're going to march. All right, you actually get to choose your army. And yes, you level them up as you go. And then you can march through. We're going to skip this. Yeah, skip it to a hero. March. We just want to march with our ruffians, see? And then you go out and you fight them. Now, this is kind of how the world map works. You're basically going to fight things like this on the, on the uh, world map. You'll fight other players on the world map. We get other things, rewards and all that stuff for doing that. Pretty cool stuff. We get some food, so you can gather. In this situation, it's going to be a lot faster. On the world map, it's like every other game that you've seen. Your heroes sit at a gathering point, and they just kind of collect stuff. And this game is still running quick. They actually just did another update in March, so it's not like they are you know, not updating the game, and they're not playing with it. So if you do like this kind of game, there are people that still play it. So don't worry about that kind of stuff. Like, oh, it's been out for three years. I don't want it. It's, it's still a fun game, and I still highly recommend Like, even right now, me playing it again is kind of getting me into the point where I want to play it again because it was that much fun. And I enjoyed the heroes. I'm bad at building heroes in this game. I'll give you that. So don't ask me any advice on who to build and how to build them. There we go. We got Angela, the doctor. She's actually really good to build because you can use her as a gatherer. So the I don't know if you've ever played any game like this before, but... Oh, does it fulfill the following to unlock? Sure. Um, I don't know if you've played a game like this before, but the rare heroes are really good to level up fast because you can use them as gatherers. Most of them are gatherers. Whatever you say, Commander. He's just running out there with his little... He's like, I got, I got, I can carry 3,500 wood planks. That's totally reasonable and very realistic. All right, click that. We have to train one infantry. So now we get infantry heroes. All right, so this is the infantry. Say, so you can unlock new, new, uh, oh, that's going to make me do it. There we go. I want to go back in here, train. So you can see. So every time you upgrade your research, you gain new and newer, stronger heroes. Say they get very strong very quickly. That's the infantry with their little shields and stuff. Pretty cool looking. All right, infantry squad. I think they're going to make us do all kinds of stuff now. Let's upgrade the farm. Level up. Most of these are like three seconds in the beginning. Some of them are zero seconds. It's pretty quick and easy. You can upgrade your research times, upgrade the shelter to level three. This is going to give us... Oh, no, we want buffs. We want level up. Boom, five seconds, right? Can you guys wait five seconds for this? Or are you impatient? There we go. We claim everything. Oh, and we get the thing to save her, the antivirus. There you go. Let's save. Let's save our girl. She is now healed. I really don't remember any of this. Like this is all new to me. They really updated this with like the story. Like I know they put this part of the story in there, but it wasn't like it wasn't. It didn't look like this. All right. No, she's blue actually. Right? Yeah, she's blue. She's not even like strong. She's just randomly blue. All right. We've got Peggy back. Upgrade the hospital. Oh, let's get some free stuff. Heal. Yes, you have to heal your characters and all that. You get your free troops. And then we're going to go upgrade the hospital. Actually, I just did the wrong thing. Here we go. Go. This is the hospital. There we go. Level up. Zero seconds. See what I mean? Free. Upgrade. Say free. You just hit free. That's what it was. So you hit free. And then you've got your skills. And then we can upgrade our barracks. Oh, this is the... Okay, so that's the barricade. Sorry. Free. Free, we've got it. Boom. I want to get into the. I want to get into the into the world though. That's what I want. Level up. Level up. This is going to be where they tell us to speed up. I think. Oop. Get out of here. Upgrade shelter. I think we have to. Okay. So train infantry squad once. Train. Train one minute. These are very quick. Very quick quests. Quick quests. Quick. 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 Quick, quickie. <laughs> All right, so now we have 300 
troops. So we're getting there. Look at this. My little my little uh, nerd troop over here is getting crazy. What is this? Can I use the antivirus on them? That'd be pretty cool, right? You just start throwing antivirus at people. I feel like that would be fun. I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Nice. We got more heroes. Eliminate two. Mo oh, we got VIP now. Ooh, we're in the club. What does that do? Does that activate claim? This is all kinds of new stuff. All right, so we get free stuff there, and then we get free points here, and that upgrades our VIP so we get better stuff. We can upgrade this by using this. Oh, we get free 200. There we go. We're already VIP 2, and we didn't even spend a dime. Claim this. So now we get more free stuff every day, and then this we have to click, otherwise it doesn't go away. So here you go. You can get basically Catherine Fragrance if you're going to be a VIP and start spending money. Otherwise, you just go in here and attack this guy with your 373 heroes we're gonna skip it because i want to move it along we'll collect some stuff get our free things go rescue refugees and then we got to go here start chapter three to unlock recover usable resources okay so we have to do that three times these are all the resources we're getting exp so that's good and then depending on how many heroes you have I and mean, people you have in the town basically you can keep collecting you'll have these little guys you're going to have a certain amount of heroes that you, you can do at a time there we go. We got our three resources, so that's good. And then we have to level up two heroes to level six. So he can level up to six easy because we have this. One, two. We'll just do two. Two. Boom. All done. And then she's infected, so we can't use her. Let's see what he level if he levels up. Oh, nice. Ten. One, six, two. There we go. We got some nice levels. Angela's actually a pretty good hero, and they're actually giving us pieces for her, so we are going to use them, because why not? Who knows if when they're going to give us Peggy back. All right, we got our two heroes back. Clear the zombies in the building. So now we're going to go in with Charlie and Angela, so I'm actually glad we did that, because we're evenly matched now. She's cool, but I don't, I don't even know. Is she in the game? Yeah, she is. She's a, she's a blue. That's what she is. She's a blue hero. All right, so this is actually, we have to protect the generator, is what this is. So the tool will activate soon after. So we have to drag our hero. So we can actually move our heroes. I forgot about that part. Now we're going to want to put up a wall right in front of this generator to stop anyone from doing stuff. What does this do? Oh, it's a healing zone. That's cool. Now he's going to be good for pushing people back, Charlie. He's got that whole shotgun thing going on. That shotgun blast thing. We're going to save it for as soon as they get here. Looks like they're going to break that wall very soon. All right, they're really getting through that wall. Unfortunately, Charlie's thing is taking a very long time. Here we go, finally. Come on, Charlie. There you go. Boom, look at that. He kills everybody. That's why I said he's actually pretty good, and he's good for pushing enemies back and stopping them from getting to your wall, which is nice. So there we go. We got some free stuff. And you're going to see her a lot, and you're going to see her topside very much. They like to show that a lot. Collect all. There we go. What do we got? We got our thing. Construct a range barracks. Oh, nice. Now we get rangers. Um, higher, sure. We're going to hire it anyway because it's like a free thing they give you. There we go. Let's treat her. Oh, we still have to give We have to give her a bunch of shots. Got it. So that's what the problem is. I was like, why did it not work? I'm like, We're, we got it. There we go. Construction complete. Boom. We have a bigger, bigger account. Shelters expanded. It'd be nice if they let us into the outworld. Okay, I think we're in now. That's it. We're out of the BS now, I think. All right, so we can choose the kind of town we want. Old factory, manure. Look at this. It's pretty cool, right? I don't like bright things, so we're going to choose old factory. There we go. So now can we... In the mail, what do we got? Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff. Join Discord. Read and claim all. There you go. We got some stuff there. Survey, we get 500 points, so that's not bad. All right, so now you've got more things. So we've got a construction queue where you can buy stuff if you want. We've got the new server launch. See this? So we do get some free stuff. So there's heroic missions. It looks like we've gotten some stuff already. So here we get some EXP. Look at that, 5,000. That's actually pretty good. Um, we get bullet showers, which is something I don't know what that is. Look at this. That's crazy. Look at this. It's like a zombie thing. Is this going to help me? Skip. I don't know what this is. Mission. Oh, look at, this is weird. I've never seen this. This is something new. 
Let me see that again. Can I just... Oh, that was that it? There we go. I want to shoot some stuff. So we get bullets. Oh, it's got a reset. How do I go? Can I move up? Or do I just click this? There we go. Oh, this is really weird. I'm just going to hold it down and shoot the hell out of everything. Look at that. You just literally hold it down. All right. We got nothing. Okay. Well, we get bullets. So that's fun. Really weird. <laughs> Rank rewards. All right. So, yeah. See what I mean? You've already got players that are 1.8 million power. Uh, we are 76. And then we've got the mail, which is giving you free stuff. Sometimes, see, you go in here, you get free summons. Here you get Cynthia's growth. So basically you get some free stuff by getting to level whatever level you're at. Oh, here we go. And this is 99 cents. So of course they're going to charge you. So that's something you have to kind of buy. Not kind of, you have to. All right, daily boost. You get a free little daily claim thing of gems sometimes. Sometimes it's energy, whatever you need. Um, and then heroes. You can kind of see some of the heroes. Let's see if there's anything new. But these are really cool heroes. So we've got Catherine. No, skip. I didn't want to play her beginning. I thought it was going over. All right, so we've got Cynthia. We've got Catherine. This guy is really cool, Jaden. He's basically your uh, your Michonne, I guess, with a gun. So he's pretty badass. Uh, you've got Maxine, who's a really good gatherer. You've got this dude, Martin, who everyone gets, I think, from doing those quests you get. That you have to like kill certain enemies on the map, and you can get him pretty quickly. He's a really good healer. Awesome hero. Uh, Hank is a really good uh, destroyer. I believe he is actually a... I think he's a he breaks down walls, right? He's good for attacking people. He's more of a PvP hero. Really good, really good hero if I remember correctly. This guy Lee Sung Wong is actually a hero that everyone got back in the day. I'm assuming you still get him, but uh, he's the first legendary that most of you guys are going to get. I think if they haven't changed the game, really good hero, really strong, great frontline hero. He's a good tank and he does insane damage. Really good for killing uh, some of the hives and stuff too. You've also got Peter, really good damage dealer, awesome hero. You've got this big dude who's a really good defensive hero if you need something for a PvP. You've got Tom, who's, I think, a hero you have to get from doing... There's, like, paid quests. You can get him without paying. It's just going to take a lot longer because that, that quest comes back around over and over again. Uh, Nakano is actually pretty cool looking. I don't know if I really use her too much, but she's interesting. This guy, Lewis, kind of badass, just looks very Final fantasy kind of esque uh master Jin's really cool i think he's another one of those heroes you have to find i have never seen sarah vandermeer that is definitely new <laughs> um freya is really good in the beginning you could definitely do some stuff i've seen her kill people that are legendary captain russell's pretty cool you get him from i think hunting and stuff uh she's a really good gatherer or zia co is a kind of whatever i liked her but she wasn't ever she was never amazing but she was really good at doing what she did that was it i think she's like a, is she a hive killer i think i don't remember either way she's good uh edward tank hero pretty cool john sutherland he looks like he's from peaky blinders <laughs> uh this guy i don't know if you know this but he's got a little baby on his back and this baby is adorable and he's actually a really good hero too as well this guy's pretty cool uh he does a lot of i think he increases attack of everybody and stuff he's he's a really good support hero uh i really like akimi i actually did build her on one of my old accounts really good hero she's great to start with uh i've never seen jeremy this is a new hero so it looks like they added stuff so i guess he makes yeah he sends robots so i would be interested in seeing what he's all about and then there's your girl from the pictures you've got this guy samuel who is a boxer you've got the hottest girl in all of gaming history, Michelle. And then you've got your random heroes that you can build up and just use as gatherers. All right. So there you go. That's your heroes. The world map, I don't think we can show yet because it hasn't unlocked yet. But if we keep going, basically, it's just another, like I said, you can wander around the map. You can kill monsters. You can kill your friends. You can kill people who aren't your friends. Whatever you want to do in this game, just remember you will be attacked and your resources will be stolen. And hopefully you guys are interested in something like this. I don't I don't really cover these kinds of games very often, so I figured it was a cool idea to kind of bring this back out. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Like I said, this is my first impressions of the game uh, and have, not having played it in a while and just a generalized review of the game. It is really fun. Even though I didn't spend money on it and I got my butt handed to me over and over again, I was able to progress at least on my own account and in the things that I was trying to do. 
reasonably easily. And I was able to kind of make some cool friends. And it was, it was a nice, it was a nice experience for me. All right. There are going to be jerks. So if, if you hate that kind of stuff, you might not want to play the game, but otherwise, if you just ignore them and just kind of whatever, as long as there's no, as long if you get onto one of the servers, that's a bunch of jerks. Yeah. It might be, you know, a rough experience, but mostly from what I've seen, most of the clans in this game are pretty reasonable at least and then there's always that one clan that's just they think they're on a power trip because they spent a thousand dollars on a game that no one gives a crap about except to just play and have fun <laughs> they're very they're very important people let me tell you i can't i can't tell you how cool it is that you kill people in a game because you spend a thousand dollars on it all right well here you go <laughs> that was called being sarcastic all right make sure you like share subscribe it's good for the channel. You help the channel grow. And uh, yeah, remember we do a live show every single week, which I'll actually be doing pretty soon, even though tomorrow you'll, it'll have already been out. All right, so this is Doomsday Last Survivor. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys take care.